they had to get the truck right out from over here. To Tamara Zelmer, this is more than a storage yard. My dad, he's 80 years old. He's had the property since back in the 70s. Her family business, Zelmer Enterprises on North Columbia Boulevard in Portland, is part of a legacy. There's the truck there. They stole that truck. A legacy being damaged. On Sunday, thieves took one of the business's tow trucks and drove right through the storage yard's iron gate. Busted it up. They have a snapshot of two people in the front seat and say this is not the first theft. Doesn't seem to be an end in sight. You can only do so much. Douglas Barty was lucky and found the truck a couple miles away the next day. I'm just glad to have it back because this is my livelihood, you know. <laughs> He says this type of break-in and theft has happened at least three times at Zelmer Enterprises. This other truck has been stolen twice. He said they cut the latch. And storage units have been broken into. When they've confronted thieves and called police, officers responded hours later. Nobody seems to want to do anything about it. What are we going to do? You know, we can't stand in the middle of the road and uh, tell them to stop. Douglas worries growing crime, a next door encampment, and drug use are part of the problem, illustrated by the vehicles he tows. Eight out of ten cars have needles in them from fentanyl and uh, heroin. It's a bigger picture than right here. Tamara says each break in results in loss of customers. She's begging for a stronger presence by the city and police. When we've asked, well, what do we do? And they said, well, you need to protect what is yours. He came through here. And the fight to protect a family legacy. Now that business is just one that the Zelmers say is feeling that neighborhood impact. They're now trying to fix their gate, which could cost thousands, and block in their trucks and entrances with other cars and cement blocks. But they feel this will all just happen again. David? How frustrating and disheartening, Galen. Thank you for that.